Vaccines. We hear about them all the time, from annual flu shots to life-saving breakthroughs like COVID-19 vaccines. They're one of the most powerful tools in modern medicine. But while we know what vaccines do, most people have no idea how they're made, especially on a massive scale. Mass producing vaccines is a long, careful process. It takes months of work, strict safety checks, and specialized equipment to make sure every single dose is safe, clean, and effective. Today, we'll walk through the full process of how vaccines are made from start to finish, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand how vaccines are made, it helps to first know what they actually are. A vaccine trains your immune system to recognize and fight off harmful viruses or bacteria. It does this by using a harmless part of the virus, like a protein, a dead version, or a weakened form. This way, your body can build protection without you having to get sick first. There are several types of vaccines, but they all follow a similar path in the way they are produced, especially when it comes to making large amounts. Before mass production begins, the vaccine must be developed, tested, and approved. This can take years. Scientists go through lab studies, then clinical trials with volunteers, and finally submit their results to health agencies for review. Once the vaccine is approved, the exact formula is locked in. This includes the active ingredient, the part that trains the immune system, as well as other things like stabilizers and preservatives. From here, the focus shifts from research to manufacturing. The first step in vaccine production is creating the active ingredient. This usually means growing it in a lab using living cells. For some vaccines, this involves growing viruses in fertilized chicken eggs or cell cultures. Others use bacteria or yeast to produce proteins. These living systems are placed in large tanks under controlled conditions like temperature, oxygen, and pH levels. These tanks are called bioreactors. This step takes time because the cells need to multiply and produce enough material. The goal here is to create as much of the vaccine's main ingredient as possible. Once enough of the ingredient is grown, the next step is to purify it. That means separating the useful part from everything else. The raw material from the bioreactors contains a mix of things, cells, fluids, and waste. The useful part, whether it's a virus, protein, or other substance, is separated using machines that filter, spin, or break down the mixture. This step has to be repeated multiple times to make sure the ingredient is clean and ready. Purity is very important. Even a small amount of leftover material from the growing stage can affect the safety or effectiveness of the vaccine. After purification, the clean ingredient is combined with other materials to make the final vaccine formula. This includes substances that help the vaccine stay stable, ingredients that help the body respond more strongly, and liquids that help control the dose. These materials are all added in the right amounts to make sure the vaccine works as intended. This step takes place in highly controlled rooms. The machines and tools used are sterilized, and the environment is constantly monitored to prevent contamination. Once the vaccine formula is ready, 
it's time to fill it into vials or syringes. This step is done by automated machines. Each vial is filled with a specific amount of vaccine, usually less than one milliliter. Then it's sealed with a cap and labeled with important details like batch numbers and expiration dates. This stage also happens in sterile conditions. Workers wear full protective gear and machines are checked often to make sure nothing goes wrong. Even a small mistake can lead to delays or wasted product. After the vials are filled, the vaccine isn't sent out right away. First, it has to pass strict safety tests. Each batch is checked for the right strength, the correct dose, and for any possible contamination. Some tests are done by the manufacturer and others are done by independent labs or government health agencies. If a batch fails any test, it's thrown out. This step can take several days or even weeks, but it's a critical part of the process. It ensures that the vaccine is safe and reliable for people to use. Vaccines need to be stored carefully. Some can be kept in regular refrigerators, while others, like some COVID-19 vaccines, need to be kept at very cold temperatures. After passing all tests, vaccines are packed in special containers to keep them at the right temperature. They're tracked during shipping to make sure the temperature stays stable from the factory to the clinic. This is known as the cold chain. It helps prevent the vaccine from going bad before it reaches the people who need it. Once the vaccines arrive at their destination, they're stored until it's time for use. Nurses, doctors, or trained staff give the vaccine, usually through an injection. By the time a vaccine reaches your arm, it's gone through months of work. It's been carefully made, tested, packaged and shipped. And it's all been done with one goal, to protect your health and the health of others. Every dose matters, and every step in the process plays a role in protecting people around the world. So next time you see a small vaccine vial or get a shot, remember the huge process behind it. What seems simple on the surface is actually the result of careful planning, science, and teamwork. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.